Aku ya pisau. Aku ya pisau. When somebody says this guy, this Iranian guy, this Arab guy, this African guy, this Chinese guy, this is another creature that I have no idea about and God knows what they're doing when they're not here. Probably the same things that you do. Probably he's trying to, you know, live a happier life for some reason he came here. Probably just like you, he has a family that he cares about probably. His life is not going to be that different from yours, but the issue is that you don't know him. <laughs> ولكن <laughs> Arm konda eseti emotsie biro eha zan utsko kwa kana shivarda zan wala peri utsna uriada ar ano ar chem tu esota upro komportuli ko da upro ano emotsie bi reaktsie bi da ena ratma uda sair to taru chodi kartuli magram mainz utsota upro komportulat snobdi house. If you're in a group of people that you are an Iranian and there, is, there are Georgians and there are other foreigners and when Georgians talk about some, some local stuff, sometimes you see that foreigners are like, what? What, do you, what does that even mean? Why do you do that? But you see that the Iranian guy is like, yeah, I know about this. I, actually, for me, it's not, it's not surprising. If we talk about some cultures that are not similar at all, it's important to be okay with differences. But I think between Iran and Georgia, it's not necessarily like that. There are similarities, and there's, there's a lot of them. And you can see that it's in the language, it's in the, uh, you can hear it in the music, you can see it in the paintings, you can read about it in, in, in literature and history, but most people don't know about it. And, and not all the time the story is, is aggressive or about wars. Sometimes these stories are about, you know, uh, businessmen were doing this and that, or sometimes like about uh, families, you know, shared families of Iranian, Georgian, and then these words came from there a little bit, and then it changed this way. With the values, I think there are so many similarities. With uh, hospitality, right? respect for the elderly, respect for your neighbor, the importance of the family itself, and, and how you need to support each other and take care of each other. One of the one of the most important and interesting things that I uh, that I learned was this words yes and no in Georgia, and it's uh, it's you know no is ara and it's surprisingly enough ara is, is yes in, in Persian and it's a it's a very big contrast because it's it's the, the the key word you know yes and no and the first time people use it and sometimes I watch people speak Georgian I didn't know what they were saying and somebody said something and the guy said ara and I was like oh he agreed. I am a little I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of Umetesobaikov, <laughs> I 
I don't fly the southern flag, it's never been a part of me. Words like white trash and fried chicken never fed my harmonies. I sure like them pretty girls, but I'm not trying to get them off. I don't sing them pretty songs to open up some envelopes. It was end of June 2016, as I remember. There was a movie screening going on uh, in a cafe, animated TV series, Rick and Morty, which locals and foreigners watching that, and then this group of people who introduced themselves as ultra-nationalist. I think that's, that's what the, the term that they use, so I, I'm gonna use that. They came in, you know, they had sausages and they had meat, and they, they were a bit noisy, and they kind of interrupted the whole movie screening thing, and they started, you know, dropping like sausages and meat at the tables and of course most not maybe not everyone in that crowd was vegan but still it's not a good thing when somebody drops something on the table there was some physical attacks as well and two of our friends uh, who were working that day got a little bit unfortunately like physically abused and uh, and it's a very it's 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 very well known uh, radio liberty there was bbc buzzfeed i've seen it on a couple of English learning programs, a text about uh, Q Vegan Cafe getting attacked in Tbilisi by sausage-wielding uh, extremists and you know, people learning that, to, reading that to you know, improve their reading skills. But I don't want to be the one that's stuck in singing about only about beer and trucks This country music has a lot more to say When you have uh, these um, right-wing groups, maybe, maybe not officially in politics, maybe some of them are involved in, in, in politics or in the government, and then, and, and then they start promoting these ideas that some of the problems and some of the issues that we have now in Georgia, or some of the issues that, serious issues that we might have in the future, uh, are, are caused by f a lot of foreigners coming to Georgia and trying to stay here, deciding to stay here and live here. And they, they promote this idea that, okay, so too many foreigners coming to Georgia and living here might change the cultures, might, ch might, culture, might change the values, and this country will not be uh, the same as it is or it was, uh, which is not true. Rumors that, oh, did you know that Iranians in the past two years, for example, bought 15% of the properties in Tbilisi or in Georgia. It's like, do you even know what that number is, what that means, 15%? Uh, and then you go and check the numbers and it's less than 1%. Since a year and a half ago, it's getting more and more complicated for some foreigners to, to stay in Georgia, uh, especially those from uh, Middle East and West Asia, and they have problems getting uh, residence permit, uh, even if they work here and if uh, everything they do is, is okay and legal and even if they've been here for a, for a long time. My future plans are I think all connected and related to Georgia. I think I will be here uh, maybe not forever but for a long time or maybe forever, who knows. I think now I'm involved in so many interesting things um, uh, in both jobs that I have. I, I, I do them because I love them and I uh, and I, and I have plans on getting better uh, at, uh, at uh, what I do. I don't fly the southern flag, it's never been a part of me. Words like white trash and fried chicken never fed my harmonies. <laughs>